So, last episode of The Quarry. Please excuse my face and hair. I quite literally woke up like this and was so excited to record the finale. And here we are, and I'm ready to go into chapter 9. What's going to happen? Will they all die? Maybe. Considering some of the decisions I've been making. <laughs> Possibly. My curiosity gets the better of me. The matriarch. The scrapyard? Nah. Just seen the sign on my way to camp. What if we just, like, walk to the main road? This uh, isn't the main road? No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Let's just keep moving. I'm pretty sure that was a bird accompanied by some stringed instrument. Or water phone, or some so, sort of... I guess this is me now. What? You're gonna look great with a hook. We can call you... Hooky McHookface. <laughs> Boaty McBoatface. <laughs> oh, shit. People are really gonna call me that, aren't they? I never thought about that. I was gonna go with, like, like Stumpy or, like, get a cute nickname like Nubs. But, yeah, people are gonna call me Hooky McHookface, aren't they? <laughs> I guess that's kind of unique. You know what? Dylan grew on me a lot over this playthrough. I didn't really like him in the beginning, but he's great now. Yeah, I guess it's pretty unique. I could get different attachments for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Lean into it. One hell of a story, too. Yeah, I guess it's something to talk about on the radio station. We're Better than being dead. We'll be about this in a few years. You, me, maybe even Ryan. Hmm. You encroaching on my man, huh? Honestly, I'm not even that big into Ryan anymore either, so I feel like both of you should just like, everyone should just go their separate ways at this point. I don't feel like anyone in this group should stick together anymore. Uh, Nick and Abby didn't really work out. Uh, Jacob and Emma didn't really work out. Uh, you and Ryan didn't really work out. Uh, need some me time. Yeah. Although he did save your life. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need a little me time to figure out the new Dylan before anything. New and improved Dylan. Dylan 2.0. Oh, well shit, now I wanna be Caitlyn 2.0. Hey, find me something sharp enough at the scrapyard and we can make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well now's your chance, buddy. We're here. Nice, okay. Time to fight uh, Heisenberg? Was that his name in Resi 8? Oh, shit. Relax. It's motion sensor. We're okay. I think. <laughs> the light! Oh, look. Steampunk's back in. Ew. Come on. This way. Ew? Why is that ew? Oh, this music, music feels like the thing. Dong dong. So what do we do now? Well, I guess we just make ourselves at home. Live up some cocktails, see what's on the TV. No? <laughs> also, Emma's pretty fun too. Why are you so positive? I don't know if she's positive. I think it's more like sarcasm to hide behind pain. Why are you always so positive. Oh, why do you keep asking me that? Uh, I okay, asked now you she's about acting your confidence, weird. not your whatever is happening right now. Oh, I don't know. I guess I just don't like to see other people sad. That hit a little way too close to home for me. <laughs> oh god. That's my role in the group. I just get in, I crack jokes all the time because I'm going to make sure everybody's having a good time. Everyone, everyone, everyone good out there? Maybe that's why I started YouTube, huh? <laughs> uh, is that why you do videos? Oh God, it's too real. <laughs> well, I got to pick this one now because I said it. Is that why you do the 
internet video thingy? Internet video thingy? Whatever it is you call it. You know, people think influencers do it just for the attention, and maybe you do at first. But after a while, it's like, what's the difference between 4,000 rando likes and 100,000 rando likes? But I make people laugh. I act dumb and they laugh. Maybe that makes me dumb? No, don't say that. Or maybe I just like to make people laugh. Don't say that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Well, fuck this nine, huh? Yeah. Is that the devs like dig at oh. all of us who played their games? I'm say it. What are you trying to say? Fuck this night. Fuck it all the way to morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I I do it because I'm creative and I have confidence in myself, right? Down. Easy, ma. Put me down, you old witch! Blow your fucking head up! Get her, bitch! Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. Oh, you're invisible now. Oh, shit, you are! <laughs> That's not how that works! Just shoot blindly into the night! Gotcha. Okay, okay, no. What you did to my Kaylee. Okay. Get the fuck off! Get off me, Lin Shay! I didn't know. I didn't know the struggle was Everybody gonna lead to a stop. gunshot! Gunshot? What the fuck is going on up here? Oh, uh, God. Oh, 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 I messed Wait, up. Darling. I thought she was just going to pull the gun away from her and then be like, everybody stop, and then it would give me a chance to shoot, maybe. And then I was going to say no. Oh. She's gone. Little Bobby. Marlon's gone. Oh, God. I'm just wiping out the whole family. <laughs> Where's Chris? Bring Chris in. I'll finish him off as well. No more party. No more protecting anyone. Travis. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Dude! He just so casually stuck a knife in like my lung! Oh, this went tits up really quickly. Oh my god! What have I done? Fuck. It's okay, my main gang are still alive. That's all I care about. That's all I'm trying to get out of this game with. And Travis. Travis has been cool. Uh, okay. All right, that's not good. Don't pull it out! Don't, no, 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 don't, no, 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 no. No, don't pull the knife out! Isn't that like the one thing you shouldn't do? Yeah, I'm not doing that. Yeah, you'll bleed to death. No. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Plus, now you have a knife for later. If someone comes to attack you, Stab it in them. Oh god. <laughs> this just proves in these scenarios, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do the worst things imaginable and get myself killed. Then again, when would I ever be in this scenario? Who knows? Maybe, maybe Mama is a werewolf and she'll come back. Even though the dude said she's dead, but that doesn't matter. Kaylee's letter. Kaylee Hackett's letter of confession addressed to her grandmother. Can I read it? This is about how long are you going to drag this shit out? Oh, I guess it's just evidence to bring later. I forgot that that was a thing we were collecting. Yeah. 
Okay. Nothing in there. No werewolf costumes. Uh, that might lead me on to greener pastures. So let's look around in here a bit more first. Ew! Was that literally just poop? <laughs> Ugh, shit bucket. Like, I get it. You guys are old and everything, but... You're able to walk around and... Go to the bathroom, aren't you? I get it. Sometimes in bed you're just lazy and you're like, eh, I'll just shit in this bucket instead. Throw it out in the morning. Um, which door? This one or this one? The other one has a light next to it, so maybe that's the way out. And this one doesn't open, so... Huh. Okay. Bo boom. Alright, let's try this one. Maybe you have to find a key to get out. Maybe it's in the shit! There she is. Man, remember when her face used to be intact? <laughs> I don't. Oh man! Buster Bobby's coming. All right, we can hide in the... Lock the door. Hide. We can hide in the wardrobe, right? Under the bed. Maybe under the bed next to the shit. He'd never... He'd never go near the poop. He knows that his, his parents keep their shit under the bed. So I'm gonna hide next to that. And he won't be able to smell me because the smell of shit will be so overpowering. Unless I gag and retch and puke everywhere. Which I would in real life. Never mind, we're holding our breath so I can't smell it. And he can't smell me. The wardrobe probably would have been a good shout as well, honestly. Oh, this is a long one. Oh, this is a very long one. Uh-oh. Uh, what are you doing? We were fine. We were fine. Oh my god, Bobby. I'm close. Stand by. Over. You are not winning any awards for perception. Oh god. Oh, why do I feel like Ryan's dead? Oh, why did I have to shoot the grandmother's face off? There we go. That'll stop him. He's never seen one of those you can't before. Hide from me in my own house, fucker. Fair point. You're a fucker. <laughs> what are we? Twelve years old? No, you a you a fucker. You're you're stupid. Uh, maybe hide again. It's either like run and do QTEs or hide and hold breath. I think that's usually what they try and do with this. Oh, maybe I started holding my breath a little too early. Oh, mighty. No, we're fine. We're fine. We can. Oh, Ryan couldn't hold his breath as long because he has a knife in one of his lungs. That makes a lot of sense. Laura can hold her breath all day, even though she's her. I can hear you breathing, little girl. I'm holding my breath. What do you mean I can hear you breathing? The whole point of the scenario was that I was holding my breath. Alright, unless he's got silver bullets in that, I think we're fine anyway. Which he probably does. He is a hunter of werewolves. Also, I know next to nothing about werewolf lore. 
People were saying, like, it was so obvious when he bit his finger and then he shot it off. And I was like, why did he do that? I... I didn't know that you spread the werewolf infection through bites. There are bears around here? Sure. I mean, I feel like it's obvious now that you would spread it through bites, and I feel like I knew that a long time ago, but I just totally forgot. Uh, we're not playing the piano. Maybe it opens up some sort of secret passageway somewhere, or there's a tarot card in it, or something. But I'm not playing that while we're trying to get away from somebody with a gun. It just feels like a stupid scenario. I already shot someone's face off by accident. I'm not gonna get my own face shot off by- on purpose. <laughs> Accidents happen! Sometimes you slip with your shotgun and you shoot Lin Shay's face off. Look, I can't be held responsible for every shotgun shot that I fire. Are you getting that? Okay, good. Ah, oh, there was another direction to go, though. Ah, uh, wrong door! Sorry! I don't- sorry, wrong door! We ain't playing games no more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. Ouch! You know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you. But I sure to hell can make you suffer. Oh, Christ. Okay, if it's me or him, I'm gonna kill an old man. Sorry. Oh god, it's all gone wrong. Oh god, I- I'm a pacifist! I swear this isn't me! It's the werewolf talking! What is that? Okay, we're running, we're running. I'm not getting any more people killed if I don't have to. Okay, what's your position? I picked run! Why are you what's standing there? What is happening? Is this a werewolf thing that you're afraid of lights? Oh god, no! Oh god, Nick, we're cool, right? Oh god, get I? No. No, 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 wait, wait! Ow. Ah. Ah. Wait! Ah. Ah. Fuck! Ah. What? Ah. Come on, man! Oh, God, so wait, I pick run, and instead of actually running out of the room like I thought you were gonna do, you stand there, turn off the, all the power, that gets Jacob killed? That's bullshit! I'm all for, like, making dumb mistakes, like, making Emma go up the stairs and open up the trap door, because I heard something up there and I was like, yeah, I'm probably gonna die. I can live with that one. But that- that feels like bullshit. Fine, I'll use a life, but I feel like more people are just gonna get killed because of stuff like that. <laughs> Wait, it's him. Think about it. Why would they lock him in a cage? Then who the hell is I am the all the way back here. She's in charge. You've already got it wrong once. It might even be Nick. Your friend? Hey, listen. Okay. They said that they've Wait. already got two of us accounted for. Whatever that means. Whoever this is, they're, they're not going anywhere. Okay, I need to figure Remember, out how to get Jacob out of this thing. Sure. There was no thing for his cell, which was cell Fight. three. Fight. So maybe if I open like one or two? But I feel like if that doesn't get him out, all of them are gonna open and he's dead again anyway. Oh god, Breaker 2 did nothing. Wait, he- okay. What if I do three now? Hey, dude. Nice. Alright, now don't fuck it up. Wait! 
can do this. I can do this. Focus, dude. Focus. Oh, God. Which one is it? Okay. <gasps> Did I do it? Yes! Oh, damn. So you have to do one and two and Look, two and three. Thanks. Hell. Where's everyone else? Um, so you just Jake, add them up? Emma wasn't with them. I don't know where she is. But you should go catch up with them. Be careful. We came into the mines. I don't, I don't know if there's a way back up. Is he- is he saved now? Shouldn't he be helping us? Okay, I have a plan. Bitch. I'm going to shoot her in the face again. Everybody just relax. I'm gonna try and eliminate Can't all of this family, see, except for Travis. Travis is fine. But the rest of the family need to go, because I killed the daughter, the granddaughter already. I'm gonna kill Chris. I'm gonna kill the- this lady. I'm gonna attack the old man. Gotcha. Because I'm afraid Laura will get killed here if I don't kill the mother. You did to my Kaylee. And we need to end this curse. And that's epic. <laughs> I just feel like we need to kill the Hackett family, end the curse once and for all, and move on with our lives. I want to get all of my counselors saved. All right, here we go. Whoosh. Block. And then, how about one of these? Kick! Right in the ribs! And then, punch! Nice. Dude, he's got some... some gusto in him for an old man. Uh, attack. You're dead, motherfucker! I don't know if I should be doing this, but... No! God! Dude, Laura means business. Wait, are you gonna cut out the lights anyway? Wait, so even if I attacked last time, Jacob still would have gotten killed. I'm still- so Oh. Can he see me? Travis is devastated. He sees me. <laughs> Wait! No! I don't think he wants to kill me, though. I think he's devastated, but he's fine. That doesn't make any sense, but you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, Ryan. Now we gotta try and keep you alive somehow. I feel like he's dying anyway. Dying Ryan! You can use that one for free. If I keep walking steadily at a slower pace, he'll definitely lose me eventually. Oh, an enclosed space with a knife stuck in your chest? He'll never fit through this. The dude's built like a wall. And now I can hold my breath longer, though. You got this. Don't worry about it. Just don't breathe in the walls. Or he'll punch through it and grab you like Mr. X. But what if they, like, stab me in the chest? I don't think that's gonna make me stronger. <laughs> the 
We're not doing well. Yo, come on, man. You gotta help me. I do? Yeah, I promise. I won't tell anyone If I, I kill both of them, no, I have to kill him. Family first. Besides, I'll get in trouble. Stab? Oh, yes! I told you! You can use the knife for later and stab him! <laughs> Ow! You stabbed me! Yeah, fucking hurts, don't it? I ain't never been stabbed before. <laughs> Leave me alone. Owie! Ow, it really hurts. Dad! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I called it! Take it out, stab him with it! Oh. Hey, hey, hey! It's me! It's me! What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, uh, now you is... gotta bite him though, or he's gonna bleed out to death. Oh, how bad is it? Very, 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 so very sorry. bad. That bad, huh? I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First, Max, how are you? It's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? It can! Wait. Maybe it. Yeah. Maybe it will. Bite him. What? Ryan. If you let me bite you. What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected. Which means. Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means... Yeah, yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. And mine. Done. And Max's and your friends, too. I'm not even worried about it. Done. David Arquette was in this game for five minutes. And live to kill Chris Hackett. Or bleed out and die. Pretty much, yeah. It's your call for now. So we doing this or no? Pretty easy call, honestly. Uh, yeah, I'm not even hesitating. Do it. Okay. My path is chosen, it's written on a VHS tape. I can't undo that. Ah. Uh. Nice and tender for you. That's also still gonna hurt. Yeah, this is the premonition I saw. Oh, no. They give you like one final chance. I'd be able to bite through someone's skin. Even if I knew it had to save their life, I don't know if I could do that. 
He should start to feel better soon, I guess. I got a sick Chivo for that. Uh, got it. Wait, Bobby's not dead though. He's a big lad. I think that stab isn't going to kill him. Okay, Scrapyard. So who's left? Nick, Chris, and Caleb. Oh, and Max. Oh god, there's still four werewolves out there. These guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped apart. It's just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for... engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. Are these scrapped cars like part of the Hackett like Empire? Cut out for us, huh? Try not to make too much noise. Oh, right. Anything by you? Not yet. Keep looking. Like, are these all cars from people who died to werewolves? <laughs> Probably not, because there's a lot of them, but... Definitely some of them. Where are you going, Brenda? <laughs> Isn't Brenda's song in Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? And I said that this guy who's playing Dylan looked like Dylan or Cole Sprouse, who are the twins in that show. That's a coincidence. Uh, did I miss anything here? No. Sensor lights are cool. Hello? There must be a rotor arm somewhere in this place, right? What was that? Okay. Documentary. <laughs> no. Shut up. Come on, let's go. Netflix will make one about anything, so probably. I'm waiting for a year from now when we get the Johnny Depp Amber Heard documentary about their lawsuit. It's gonna happen. Sons of bitches had it all planned out. I wonder how long they'd been... Like, do werewolves go way back in the Hackett family? And how long have the current Hackett's been werewolves? How did Travis avoid it, and the parents? The scroll request to keep something off the books is a little dodgy to say the least. There must be something here that they don't want anyone to know about. SUV body damage, keep this off the books and out of the way. Who's T? Mm -hmm. Travis. Looks like these guys were cooking the books a little. <sighs> dodgy. You said it. You don't want to keep that? Isn't that evidence? <laughs> I 
Brenda, you've got a fantastic booty in those pants. I'm- you're rocking them. It's a little distracting. Well, I'll, I'll keep my head down and I'll keep focused. On the task at hand. She's so tiny. <laughs> at least she's the one with the gun now. She has all the knowledge and power to use it. Oh, well, that's sketchy. I'm always worried about, like, poking my head too far in one direction, and then the game cuts me off and is like, Oh, you didn't find the items here, now we're progressing the story. Because they have done that to me in the past, and it's really annoying. Ah! Sorry, that was scary. <laughs> so annoying. We are being hunted by literal monsters, and this is what bothers you? Yeah, both are bad. The monsters are worse, but yes, this is also bad. I'm with Dylan on that one. Also, your adrenaline must be through the roof. Must be absolutely exhausted. You know when you get that, like, surge of adrenaline and then afterwards you crash majorly? Like when you get, like, a tattoo or something, if anyone's gotten one. You get this, like, boost of adrenaline and then afterwards you go home and it's like, I just want to sleep for, like, a whole day. Imagine getting your hand chopped off and being chased by werewolves. That's, that's like, ten tattoos at once. Whoa! Okay, hey, that was a little scary. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Can't really see where I'm going anymore. I lost a hand. God, I feel like I'm missing monumentous amounts of stuff, though. Discarded signage for harm, scarm. Yeah, I still don't know how this stuff plays into the whole story. Oh, I can see more of this. And uh, the torn and broken remains of old sideshow attractions. The way they're intertwined with the rest of the scrap shows they've been sitting here for a long time. Oh, so maybe Silas, the dog boy from Harem Scarum, is the white wolf. That, that, that would make a lot more sense. The previous sheriff was killed in the fire six years ago, so presumably this belongs to him. Travis must have succeeded him. Travis has used his power as sheriff to help his family cover their tracks ever since the fire six years ago. Any other ones that I got more information on? Don't think so. Okay, interesting. C. Hackett and T. Hackett. Chris and Travis, they're brothers. Uh-huh. Laura stole the police car to escape and ditched it in the lake. She must have left the keys in the island along with Max. Oh, yeah, now that makes total sense, because she put them in the cabin on the island, and those keys were there, and Emma found them, and she was like, I'm not going near those. I like that. I like that things are starting to, like, fill in now. All the blanks. It's pretty cool. Laura and Max were kidnapped by Travis and Chris to hide it by not reporting that they didn't show up for camp. Okay. Nice. What's this? Wait, if Silas is the original, then... Aram scare. See this, Caitlin? Brenda doesn't care. Um... He can't be, like, the very first, though, right? Like, maybe someone bit him? So it feels like it doesn't go back that long, then. I thought it was gonna be, like, a lineage of, like, a thousand years ago someone was bitten and it's still going today. What's up here? Has to be a tarot card up here, right? But who knows, because you have to get into the exact tiny little position for it to work. 
Brenda, you good? Brenda! She's a little confused. I'm glad she's the one with the gun, huh? Oh wait, this all just connects to each other. Alright, Brenda, yeah, I'm coming back. Those sensors also don't stay on very long. That's bad for business. Reminds me now of playing, um... Oh, look at the oil and the water. That's a nice detail. It reminds me of playing uh, Detroit Become Human now, because you go into the scrapyard as Marcus at the start of that. That was a fun game. Anything? Anything tickling our fancy around here? This is a dead end, really? Hi. Yeah, I'm looking for stuff, but nothing's really like... Nothing's flickering or showing up and no tarot cards or... Maybe there was one here and I just didn't quite walk in the exact place that the game wanted me to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go up the steps over here. Wait, let's check around first. Okay, anything? That's so annoying that you can't get through that and you have to walk all the way around again. Especially since this is as fast as the characters go. There's no running, it's just like fast walk. Look. Is that the one I was in with uh, Max and Laura at the start? So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. Those are rigged. No, no, uh-uh. Uh oh, I hear that, yeah. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Uh, yeah, watch my back. Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um. Just, uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. I mean, no offense, she's better with the gun, and you're missing a hand, so it's harder to operate now. You haven't got accustomed to your one-hand lifestyle. All right. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. And welcome back, Grabber. Now you fought in a wag with oh. What the hell is going on? Fuck. My bad. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. All right. Here goes nothing. Let's go, Dylan! I don't think cranes are that complicated to use, honestly. Like a one like this. You just need a lot of training to not get people killed and crush things and break shit. You did it! Yeah, uh, I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger, you right? Try and get this thing running. But what if they cut off my hand? Score. Oh, something's gonna show up. Duh, that's cool actually. Uh, Warner? Yes, absolutely. Unless she's in the car and then you lift that up. There you go. <laughs> now we can.
can lift it up. Let's go! Oh. <laughs> Eat shit, whichever wolf you are. Oh, fuck. Caleb or Chris Dad, or... Get the damn werewolf on the damn Shoot him! Uh, oh. Hurry the fuck up! Shoot him! Slam car, sound horn. Sound worked before, so... I don't want to hurt Caitlyn. Do not jump out. Oh my god, what are you doing? I should have slammed the car. <laughs> oh, this, oh, I'm I'm getting people killed. Oh no. Whoa, okay. Sure. Nick. I think Nick is still in the house. Oh, God! Ah, crush him! Crush him! Crush him! Get him! Epic! So glad we had a shotgun with us! Why use that when you can rain a ton of steel from the sky? Good job, Dylan. Damn! You're upgraded from grabber to werewolf killer. Dylan, thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? To play me in a movie about <laughs> how brave I am. Don't push it. Can we check to see who that was? <sighs> so, so much for our brilliant escape plan. Okay, back to the lodge. Are you nuts? <laughs> Better than being out in the open. Come on. Wait, we're not gonna check for the rotor arm? That could still be totally fine in the engine of the car, can't it? I feel like all of that was pointless. <laughs> Jesus. What's that? Okay, don't scare me like that. I thought I had to make a choice. We can't just sit here. Why not? Dylan said it's safe here. Well, yeah, I just... I don't want to be waiting around. But that's literally all we need to do. Just wait until morning, right? Fine. But we need protection. Go see what you can find. It's better than just sitting around. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, no problem. God, it's fucking dark. Ooh, the Hierophant. Okay. Hope it holds. Yeah, you're fine. Wait, so who is the one who is Ian? That collar from the start of the game. I feel like I'm missing a chunk. Oh, I didn't realize you were there. I I was wondering who that person was. Okay, it is extraordinarily dark in here. It's very hard to see anything that I'm doing. 
What am I looking for, exactly? Surveillance room. Huh. Looks like the main fuse is gone. That's why there's no power? Why would somebody do that? Ooh. What is it? Silver shells. How'd they get down here? The hunter must have dropped them. This is probably how he got upstairs and attacked Caitlin. Those fucking guys are everywhere. Those will come in handy. What'd you find? Oh. Oh, I'm uh, just checking out this ladder. The step's broken! Is that a tiny little door up there? Uh, yeah. We'll open it up. Why? We don't know what's up there. Exactly. <laughs> Have you not been paying attention, like, at all? Okay, what I mean is, it might be good for us to have an escape route. You know, we don't know what's up there. It, it, the lodge, there, there also could be a, a way for us to defend ourselves. Okay. Guess that makes sense. The step is broken, though. I remembered. But it's better to step in it and break it now, I guess, than when you're running away. You all right? Oh, well, yeah. Okay, yeah, that was that was close. Okay, nice. At least now I don't have to worry about it anymore. It was been in the back of my brain this whole time. <laughs> that looked like it hurt. That was weird. Boom, boom. All right, who else do we got to kill down here? Through there in a hurry. Man, this place is huge. I might need to rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. <laughs> Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Fair point. Sure. And another way out. Fine. <laughs> Alrighty, what are we getting ourselves in for this time? Huh. What's that? Proof we're on the right track. Stay close. Yeah, all the better to see you with, my dear. <laughs> oh. Ah, weird camera angle. Stop that. Oh, uh, noisy, watch noisy, your step. noisy. Yep. Yeah, I watch my step. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Ryan's like, do you think I'm walking anywhere in my state? I can't get through here. Come on. Wait, is that a werewolf in the middle of the room? What was that? <laughs> oh, he's chained up. Is that Chris? I think we found Chris Hackett. Yeah! Son of a bitch. Oh! Dicks! Is he gonna fall through the floor? <laughs> oh, we fell too! You just said watch your step and you stood on it! Oh my goodness, these are morons! 
Oh shit, we're right into it. Okay. Guys, I keep wondering that Nick is running around here somewhere, but this he has the chains on his arms. Hey. Shoot him! Oh, I shot his head off! Wait, does he have chains in his arms? Whoa! It worked! Oh, we did it! Wait, that means he's fine. Did he heal in time? Maybe he'll just still bleed to death. Thanks. For, um, not killing me. Yeah. Likewise. So... What now? Everyone's back to normal? I think this is over. This isn't over. Uh, I don't understand Chris is dead. Oh. oh, Chris wasn't the first. That's not possible. Caleb. Kaylee. The girl you killed? Her brother. He's the first? What? <sighs> Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. Oh, God! He was a good man, my brother. <sighs> well, then who bit Caleb? The White Wolf. Silas. They've been tracking him for years. He's a, a gypsy, a transient. I don't think you're allowed to say that word anymore. He'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A feral albino child. Giant white wolf. White wolf? What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, buddy, At go! The At the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Mm. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We, we can help those who are still alive. In what world would I help you? No! Yeah, we can help Travis! We're good to him! He's a fun boy! Why should I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. Everyone, uh, who's still alive anyway. Okay, okay. So, where would we even find him? Chivo. I know exactly where to find him. Okay, let's go. Okay. <laughs> this doesn't mean I forgive you for what you did to me. I understand. How convenient that you kept your shirt and underwear on when you Can turned into a wolf. Please get me some fucking clothes. Yeah. Every time they explode, it's like, oh, thank God your underwear is still on. How convenient. <laughs> 
had your chance. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family, and you failed. Doesn't matter. There's oh. still time. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just <clears throat> look to the future, shall Are we? Are you mad because I didn't kill Travis? He's a good man. Ooh, death is a good one. Death. Death takes many forms. It could mean change, transition, transformation, often interpreted as a, a beacon for the hopeful. In your case, it means, well, it just means death. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop that, <laughs> you weird little old lady. The sun, the vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once Could again. Could also mean like a double meaning of the sun being Caleb. The Hierophant? Where did you find this? Where did you find it? This shouldn't be here. He's been through enough pain. No, no, no. My poor boy. Do you see what that did to us? I was gonna say, I feel like she's Silas's mom, right? Six years ago, Eliza at Hackett's Quarry. No. Yeah, she was part of the Harem Scarum. Oh. 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 What have they done? Called it. What have they done? Because every time I was talking to her, you could see the fire in her eyes. Like that. Oh, God. Silas, my boy. Old lady, what would happen if she just got killed right there? Oh, that's the sheriff. You gotta sanitize after you touch weird shit. Hmm. Is that because now she realized it's not Silas, so he's still Mommy's out there? Mommy's coming, Silas. Mommy's coming, Silas! 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 <laughs> Mommy's fucking dead. <laughs> Blown to smithereens. That's cool. I'm glad they incorporated her into the story. Oh, and those are the tarot cards that I've been finding. That's why they burn when you pick them up. Nice detail. No, 
No, no. My poor boy. Did you see what they did to us? How oh, they hurt us. He's out there still, all alone. Each full moon, they hunt him, armed with silver, trying to put an end to a curse they inflicted upon themselves when they set my show ablaze six years ago. Stupid children. Little silence. My little white wolf. Does that mean I could have saved Chris? You must not follow this path. Do you understand? Remember how I've helped you all this time? Remember how much I've done for you? Damn. So if you didn't find that card, would you get none of that? Uh, whoa, okay, that was weird. I thought the sound cut out on me. Maxi! Maxi boy! I was gonna call you Maxi Pads, but then... Oh, man. Th that's... That's low-hanging fruit, boys. What the fuck? <laughs> the trees are attacking me! The fucking tree! <laughs> Laura! Dude, you know you're a werewolf. I thought we've been over this. How the hell am I gonna get down? <laughs> Ow. That's yes, not gonna yes. heal anymore though, because uh, you're not a werewolf anymore, so now you just have broken ribs. <laughs> Where the hell am I? Why is there no like ambient audio playing? Did my game break? The world's quietest woodland. There's no clothes in there. Sorry, uh, Emma took them all. Uh, that's why she's wearing that. Oh my god, it all starts to make so much more sense. And I should have pieced that together earlier. You gotta be kidding. What is it? What do you have to wear? <laughs> okay. Dude, looking good! <laughs> this is a great outfit. I would love to be in something like this. Wait, should we... Go anywhere? We're... Okay. There is still a big bad wolf out there. Like, the actual, like... The big bad wolf. Like, they came knocking on the three piggies doors. Like, the, the white wolf is still out there, so you could easily get killed. And you have no gun. What if you go running off into the woods and someone shoots you? The Harbinger Motel. Don't, we should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. Yeah. What a kick into teeth that was, huh? Okay, I hope we don't run into the big bad. The big bad wolf. Isn't that a song? Big bad wolf. What do I, why do I know that? It's like an old YouTube meme. I'm showing my age. A hat! Mm-hmm! Secrets. She must have come back. Ah, uh, it is me, Laura. Hello, everybody! <laughs> my name is Laura. <laughs> I don't know why I turned it into a, a Markiplier impression, but <laughs> why not? He can be Laura too if he wants. <laughs> Let me scooch you. There you go. Just want to make sure you're okay.
Swim to shore or stay? Oh god. Um... See, normally, in these scenarios, it's like, stay put, where, wherever I left you is where I'll find you, kind of thing. I don't really know what he's going to add to being there. Um... But what if the big bad wolf is also on this island? Actually, no, he's not. Because he would have shown up otherwise. You know what? You are safer here. This is where Laura left you. This is where she'll come to find you. Um, and werewolves can't go in water. So if the big bad wolf was on this island, we would have known that already. And the fact that you haven't died here yet is probably a safer bet. That or the big bad wolf is just going to come up, show up on this island and you're going to die anyway. You know what? Who cares? Just stay. <laughs> I'm so paranoid that I'll make him swim across the water and then the big bad wolf will find him before he finds everyone else and then it'll just devour him. And I don't want that to happen. Even though I've probably just gotten him killed by keeping him there now. Let's see what happens. I only have one do-over left, so... <laughs> I need to be careful. Help me. Well, can't get much worse than it already is, right? Don't say that! Don't- Oh, Great. Dylan! Just like the cartoons. Or the movies, or the video it's games. All night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right, right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. Come on, Brenda. We're good now. <laughs> Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back the first chance they get. Great news. Okay. Well, they're all dead, so. Gotta get a vantage point. You don't. You don't really need to worry about that right now. I have the gift of all sight. I'm like Odin, the all-seeing all-father. Uh, nothing's coming to kill you, except the big bad wolf. Who we've called Silas, by the way. You guys probably don't know that yet. Dylan, hi, how's it going? You look like you're about nine feet tall compared to Brenda. Can you use these paddles? Beat the crap out of them. Whoa, whoa, where am I? Whoa. <laughs> my, my analog input was not matching where you were going. I mean, at this point, is there even any... Is there even any point of trying to find tarot cards? Because this is the last chapter. I'm not going to get back to the lady until after. How did I get in here? Okay. I don't want to nitpick too much, but that is awful design when you can't see the door that you came in through. Because I completely forgot what part of the room I came in through and then just guessed. I was like, I think it's this direction. But if you can't actually see where the door is... Unless you can. <laughs> it's very dark. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just head up. I can't head up. It's all blocked. It's very dark! I told you! I can't see! But this is the brightness the game said was fine. It's not fine. These doors all look weird. They look like they're a projector. <laughs> Dylan, I'm gonna level with you. I was thinking about something else when you guys were talking as you entered. You, I all remember is that you said the guys were coming back. And I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Going up these stairs, maybe? Are these open? Dylan, lead the way. There we go. There we go. We found our calling. We found where to go in life. So who's left then? Uh, Kaylee is dead. Chris Hackett is dead. Nick is not a werewolf anymore. Max is not a werewolf anymore. So we just have... Silas left, right? 
We have one wolf and two guns, but I'm imagining that he's quite a bit bigger. Also, I didn't know he was actually like the white wolf. I thought you were just like... Like a Moby Dick reference, like you always want to get your white whale kind of thing. I didn't know he was actually a, an albino wolf. Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? No, I'm a YouTuber. Who? Uh, the big dude from earlier, when you and Ryan went to the radio hut. Mr. H's brother, I guess? Right, right. Bobby. You, you could bring them with you as some sort of, like, identification. You know, like, evidence? Aren't we trying to gather evidence? Dear Diary, I hate camp. It's full of wolves, and I died. Jeez, I'm see really struggling if they're begging for a dollar. Okay, I... Look, it's going to sound like I'm being a Debbie Downer. I'm tr I'm really not trying to be. I don't like that I can't click the picture here to be able to read the letter. I don't like that I have to pick it up again to read it. That doesn't make any sense to me. Chris Hackett is asking Camper's parents for additional donations to help the lo with lodge renovation costs. Isn't that what camp fees are for? Where else would that money be going? I don't know. The werewolf fund? The fact that Chris Hackett is asking Camper's parents for donations means that these repairs may be more crucial than they first thought. Is he building stuff to, like, keep them at bay while campers can still be here? Chris Hackett killed the camp mascot on the night Laura and Max were kidnapped. When hiding in the storm shelter, he devoured Ian in an attempt to satiate his appetite. It didn't work. Oh! Ian! The camp mas- Oh! Ian! Ian got numbed! It's not gonna be me. No. Well, Chris Hackett's dead. <laughs> and I still don't know if you can save him. I didn't even get to see Dewey's face once more before the end. I just shot it clean off his shoulders. That's it, Brenda. I know stairs are hard. Just think of it as like a hill with extra steps, literally. Hey! The High Priestess. That'll come in handy when, when I'm dead. See, this is where everything's going to go wrong now, right? Because we're going to be in the lodge. Everybody's going to come back. We're going to have a, a shootout in here, just like the end of Until Dawn. And in Until Dawn, at the very end, that's when all of my characters started to, like, really drop like flies. Because <laughs> it was like the Wendigos would just show up and they would just start, like slashing at people all over the place. You had to hold still, which I kind of miss. I loved the holding still aspect, like it registered your controller moving, but that was a, it's a PlayStation exclusive, isn't it? So I don't think you could do that with any of the other controllers. How long has this guy been here? Sorry, I, I like clicking it before it disappears. Uh, large and overbearing, this regal oil painting of Septimus Hackett. Your name was Septimus Hackett? Mine is Septic Eye. Holds pride of place in on the largest chimney column. Long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. I, yeah. I always do. Prepare for attack. Keep looking. Are, are we being attacked? <laughs> what is happening? What attack? Are we being attacked by oil paintings? I'll keep looking for now. Maybe I should keep looking. Yeah, I don't understand why looking at that painting prepared like the fight or flight sense in you. You're like, ah, the 1400s. Ah! <laughs> I don't know when that picture was taken. I could not tell you when oil paintings were happening. Look, I'm the- <laughs> I say shit for comedic effect all the time. I said something in a previous episode, it's like, can't bears run at like 65 miles an hour? And everyone took me so literally that I got so many tweets and messages from people being like, Sean, it's more like 25 miles an hour. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> 
I, okay, please take me more seriously when I'm clearly making fun of everything that is happening in my life. Like, what is this? Oh, a kitchen? Yeah, write a comment now about how it's a school classroom. <laughs> R.I.P. Ian, we hardly knew you. You can't just make fun of it. If I died and somebody made a pun out of it, uh, people Poor would Ian. do that, yeah. Some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Well, hindsight, sounds about right. Wait, was Ian a we sheep? camp mascot? Well, no, we did. But you didn't hear? H hear what? He died before we got to camp. Uh, bummer. Ian was a sheep? Whoa, how'd you get over there? Whoa, you're standing in the doorway like a menacing, like Mike Myers kind of character. I thought Ian was like an actual dude. And he was like dressed as the mascot, like the sheep. That makes it a little better, at least, that he killed a sheep and he didn't just kill some dude named Ian. <laughs> Um, let's look upstairs. I mean, I don't know what else I can find. Wait, is this where I- this isn't where I just was. Was it? No. This is a different one. Use the mirrors. Wait, no, that's vampires. What's this? Trail cam footage. It's like they're looking for something. Oh, like a werewolf? Yeah, uh, in Chris's surveillance room. He's storing all the footage. I think you might be right. Evidence. Nice. I think the tape itself would probably be better than a picture of a VHS. <laughs> Uh, it's just my reckoning. Ooh, they don't like audio, right? I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Is it dead now? Careful with that. That's a camp relic. Relax. It's dead anyway. Ah. R.I.P. Megaphone. R.I.P. Ian. The sheep. We hardly knew you. That's why I was like, you can't make a pun out of someone's death. I was like, oh, it's a sheep. Where have I seen this emblem before? Uh, you see an emblem on that? If you, if you didn't pick up a ring and then like say what it was, I would not know that that Polaroid is a picture of a ring. I- that is such a bad picture of it. Discarded jewelry thrown off in a scuffle. The inscription reveals that it belongs to Bobby Hackett. Okay. The campers never knew how Chris killed and ate the camp mascot. In fact, they didn't know a lot about camp leader Chris Hackett. You got all that from a whiteboard? The Hackett's killed these aminal- Aminals? Animals with silver after they survived werewolf bites and became infected. There's no telling what this infection would do to non-humans, but it seems the Hackett's didn't want to find out. What if, what if Ian, the super were sheep, is going around right now? Like, I kill... What if the, the albino wolf, the white wolf, is not actually a white wolf at all named Silas? It's actually just Ian, the super jacked were sheep. And he's going around there like, Bah! And then he shows up with like fangs and he's like nine feet tall. The note is referring to Max's car. Travis wanted to keep it off the books in case anyone comes looking for them. Yep. Uh, Septimus Hackett was running the show when the Hackett's fortune started to crumble. He was responsible for closing down the quarry all those years ago after falling on hard times. Oh. Must have been so hard to turn to criminality. The Hackett's have been searching for Silas, the wolf boy, for six years. Chris set up surveillance operation to help the cause, but to no avail. I wonder what they're searching for. The Hackett's have supplies for when their infected family members turn at dawn after full moon. Oh yeah, that makes sense now as well. 
Caleb infected both his father and his sister six years ago, sometime after this photo was taken, and now he's the only one left alive. Oh, Caleb as well, yeah. What Caleb and Silas. A ring with a crest on it. Oh, very fancy. You can never pull it off. Sorry. Okay. So glad we found a ring. Um, I think that's it for here. I don't know what else there is to find. Should I just start attacking the oil painting? <laughs> Prepare for the attack of brushes? I don't know why that's the... the item you have to click on to start the fight. Normally it's like a person by a door. But then this time they're like, no, Septimus Hackett. Is there anything else around here? God, it is abysmally dark. Yeah, I got some evidence. Yeah, whatever. Let's do this! Now, Caitlyn's got a hell of an aim. Caitlyn was able to knock down bottles, but it's gonna be up to me to actually aim with her. So we're probably dead. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. We're but what off it cut off my donger? Shout it shout and shout out loud. We're hacketeers. But what if it cut off like my she kneecaps or something? Like I can't walk properly then. That's not gonna make me stronger. I hate that phrase. Ow! I also love how if you just cover yourself in werewolf blood, you're fine. Um, but we haven't figured that out as the campers, so we're all gonna die. Showtime, motherfuckers. Have you checked your ammo count? Because also, Abigail found silver shells. Um, and she's not here. <laughs> oh, Jacob. I forgot about you. <sighs> Fuck this whole night. I'm surprised you're not freezing by now. I just wish I could tell you I'm sorry. More than anything. Fuck. I just wanted one more night together. Is that too much to ask for? Shit. Stop crying, you big baby. It's okay to cry, man. A lot of shit has happened, even though it's all your fault. And you got almost everyone killed. I don't know what to do. Can I rewind time? Use one of my lives to go back and put the rotor arm back in and everyone just leaves. <laughs> oh. It's hard to feel sorry for you when everything was your fault. <laughs> what is going on out there? Should we go find the others? No! We're safer in here and it's nearly morning. Yep. Yep, finally someone says something smart. What the? Oh, ho, ho! Straight through Septipus! That didn't look like no white wolf to me. That looked like a Caleb. Oh, Jesus, I'm not gonna have to actually do things now. Alright, uh... Run? Wait, where are we running to? I'ma just run. I'm, a, I'm afraid if I wait, I'll die. Let's go, let's go. We can, like, back into a room and then bar the door, and then when he comes in, a bang bang, you're dead. There you go. There you go. He'll never get you in here. Even though he just burst his head through a chimney. What the fuck was that? Big bear. It's Caitlin. Holy shit. Well, we gotta let her in. Well, we can't. The office door's locked from the outside. Well, there must be something we can well, do. Yeah, but what? Shoot her! Shoot her! Wait, at some point we are going to have to stop and shoot though, aren't we? Silver shells. 
Oh, right. We actually if need we those. If we can time it right, we can give them to her if she passes. If she passes. She's gonna pass one way or the other. Uh, beam? Or window? He's gonna chase me out the window, isn't he? What's beam? I'm picking these way too quickly for how much this could affect her life. <laughs> I picked that way too casually. Caitlin, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mash it! I'm not sorry at all! We're gonna get them! No! Fuck a Lula! Never mind, he sucks! He choked! <laughs> you may be ferocious, but you have the balance of a four year old, you fucking idiot! Shouldn't be insulting a bear wolf. Uh, run. Because I need to get those shells. I forgot that you don't have any silver in this thing. Caitlin, this way! How did you survive? And I'm running around like a lunatic. <laughs> I am knocking on this door! Caitlin, you don't have time for that, come on. No, 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 we do. Because I'm going to make a decision, watch. <sighs> Wait, how are they going to give them to me from there, though? Oh, balls. <sighs> Every single one of these decisions. It's over. Nice. Hey, I'm here. You found one? That's all I need to kill it, baby. Dylan, I will save you. Oh god. Oh god, that is some fucking wonky aiming. Holy crap, that felt like controlling a boat! Shoot him in the face. Did we get him? Not until I see him explode into a tiny child. Shoot him again. Shoot him again, it's not over. Not yet, Snake. Fuck you. I got you, motherfucker. I don't think you did. I don't think you did. I don't think you did. He has- no, he hasn't exploded back yet! Oh, thank you. What is this, PUBG? That's cast iron, that's silver. I don't trust it. No, no, see, he hasn't turned back into a boy yet. You got he, it? He hasn't de Pinocchioed. Yeah. yeah, I got it. Actually, Pinocchioed. Whatever. Oh my god, that was so nerve wracking. I swear, I moved the stick a tiny bit and she was like, Whoa! What are we doing? Shooting the wall? Let's not talk about it. <laughs> what do you- what- Did that matter where I shot him? Like, if I shot him in the head, would it have been fine? Like, would he have died instantly then? Or is that like, no matter where you shoot him, it's still like, Oh, it falls down and that same scenario happens? So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Yep. Burn. They both told that story really what short. in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? 
How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? <laughs> I had no idea what was going on. I thought you were passing out. Oh, they passed out. Oh, dicks. Grab gun or take wheel. Um, take wheel or else we're all gonna die. Travis, Travis, get it together, come on. Hey, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm matching eight. Steer. I got it, I got it, just get down. Now grab the gun. without telling the driver. Get him. Drive over him. Go! Now get out and shoot him in the head. He can heal, but surely not that quick. He can't have just disappeared. He's gotta be nearby. Let's look around. Are you crazy? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Well, at least I made the right call with Max, Probably keeping him on the island. Yet. You're okay. Been better, but yeah. Well, this is stupid. Over here. Got some blood. Wipe it on you. <laughs> Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. That's a cool shot. This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? I mean, I'm clearly not going to shoot you in the head. Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm oh. all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. That was what was in the little jar that Abigail found You're at the start. Dance. She was like, oh, it smells weird. Let's fucking do this. Let's fucking do this. Hell yeah, Laura. Go team. All right, Ryan, you ruined it. <laughs> doom, doom. Can't be that hard. I already killed one of them, I think. Maybe not. He might still be alive. Okay. Oh, God. You're going to be a nightmare to control as well, aren't you? And I'm going to be... That's going to get me killed. Damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? Eliza. I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but... Then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. The hag of Hagrid's worry. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible who you're talking about. I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Voris. Silas's mother. I think. Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Ooh. 
Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. Right from when she was trying to kill us. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. Never see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew. Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Oh, maybe if I kill Silas here. If I kill Silas here, then Caleb will turn back into regular boy afterwards. But didn't Kaylee just turn back into a girl immediately after this being is all shot? That's left. Jesus Christ. In the Christ. pool? Or maybe the water did something. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Mmm, don't split off now. That's a terrible idea. Oh, Ryan, that's just the worst idea. Ryan, I'm... Ryan? Oh, because she called him. Close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? I kind of wish I hadn't. <laughs> same. The uh, same. Yeah, me, me, big same. What is it? Silas, the dog boy. Some sort of paper. That must be it. Careful. Having the old lady be a ghost in this game feels like it doesn't belong. It's like, yeah, throw a ghost in the game as well. Why not? <laughs> oh, he's in his cage. Jesus Christ. Uh, run in, gun to the back of his head. Just start blasting. Guys, why are we being slow about this? What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Shoot, you stupid girl! I clicked the raised gun. Why is she not doing it? What? What's happening? Are you sure about this? Shoot. I feel like I'm being tricked. Wait, should I not have done that? That's why we were here. Please, let's just, let's just go before we, we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. Is he back already? Is that it? Did I survive the night? That was so bizarre. The game started messing with my head like I shouldn't have done that or something else was like an option. Oh, she's gonna kill me here now. She's gonna- she's gonna kill me, like Jacksepticeye. Not just the character. I bet you think you have it all 
figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. What? I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows... That, that's that not too bad. ...on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. Cool. I'll never leave you. Best friends for life. Damn, I'll never get lonely now. That's so much better than werewolves, honestly. I'd rather have the werewolves killed and have her be like... All the time. I think I did it. I think I kept everyone alive. Like, am I celebrating too early? This, I, this feels like, like good. Okay, this is gonna get claimed. Because streamer mode doesn't work in this game. <laughs> Max Brindley, alive. Having survived the night, Max was cured of the werewolf curse when Ryan shot Chris Hackett. Cool. Bobby Hackett, deceased. Bobby was mauled to death by his werewolf brother. Don't really mind that one. That, that's pretty fine. Chris Hackett, deceased. Chris was killed when his favorite counselor, Ryan, shot him with silver. He had to put in favorite counselor. Constance Hackett, deceased. Laura shot Constance's face off in a struggle for the gun. Sick! Jedediah Hackett. Jedediah was choked to death by a vengeful Laura. I didn't even know that was your name until right now, so I'm fine with that. Kaylee Hackett, deceased. Chris Hackett's daughter Kaylee was shot and killed by Laura, who mistook her for a werewolf Chris. I don't even know you. Jacob, alive! Having successfully avoided infection, Jacob was freed from Hackett's basement and survived the night. Nick is alive! Nick survived the night when Laura killed Silas. Nick's werewolf curse was lifted. I thought that was lifted when I killed... Oh, yeah. Abigail made it to safety of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Emma survived the night in the safety of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Let's go! Dylan survived the night by taking refuge from Caleb in the kitchen. What doesn't kill him has made him stronger. Caitlin survived the night by killing Caleb, curing all those infected by his lineage. Caleb Hackett, deceased. Caitlin shot Caleb dead using silver shells passed to her by Emma and Abigail. Again, I don't know you. Travis Hackett, alive! Travis survived the encounter with Silas and finally saw an end to the curse that had haunted his family for six years. Ryan, alive! Ryan was cured of his werewolf infection when he shot Chris and managed to survive the showdown with the White Wolf. And Laura is alive. Laura killed Silas with a silver shell, curing every infected person who survived the night. Oh. Laura killed Silas, the dog boy, in his nest. The curse of Hackett's quarry is broken. So, the way they're setting this up, is there a way of keeping every single one of them alive? Like, every person that I just saw right now. There must be a way of keeping every single one of them alive, if they're showing it to you in this sort of form, right? The only one I'm unsure about is Kaylee, because that was kind of, that was the only one, like, way outside of my control. Because Laura just killed her as she was running by. Psycho teens charged after summer camp massacre. What do you think of that, Anton? Psycho teens, one of my favorite punk bands. Okay, so I actually have a really hard time knowing if you're being sarcastic or not. I was being sarcastic. Okay. What is this? Actually, it's very on brand. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Oh, it's Not the podcast? This Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. Mm -hmm. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are. Real life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so 
I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes. It's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go what on. is happening? Why anyway, am I listening to this? There actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but oh, I'm we have all our evidence, I under guess. my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God. Why? Why are you smiling? Stop it. I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about. Oh, my God. Get to the point. This <laughs> so is the worst podcast so ever. it happens, I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, stop doing a podcast, no one's listening. Yeah. You should listen <laughs> to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Guys, the credit, oh no, someone I was gonna say the credits are over. Us. They sent us a package. Did you, you didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. It's anthrax! Okay. You've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or Bonafide. Mm, I see. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If Did you Ryan are send the it one in? Who sent us whatever it is? Congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really, really. There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key. Oh, Man, Jesus. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. I like you lock your door. Of course I lock my this, door. This is what you what edit out of a podcast. What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. So, hey, remember Sean, those missing that's my hikers? Name. Yeah. What if I showed you leaked photos from one of their cameras, photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry, supposedly where the camera was found? All oh, right, I got the SD card. I would think that maybe they went there and they dropped their camera. Okay, Anton, let me ask you real quick. What makes you drop your camera? Uh, tripping over a root, um, being <laughs> jostled, uh, in uneven uh, row of cobblestones. What about being murdered? If you dropped your phone, you wouldn't go missing. Where are they now? I don't know. People get lost in the woods all the time. There's like hundreds of people a year. They could be anywhere. That's not all. No? Mm -mm. I'm about to lay a little something else on you. My sources also tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp. Really? Then, okay, well then, uh, so shouldn't that this was... be public knowledge? Why aren't the Hackett's prime suspects? Exactly my point. Maybe they would be if anyone knew where they that were. That was the person in the if lake, then, was one of the hikers? Cover-up operation. Yeah, that's where it falls apart a bit, in my opinion. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett <laughs> family flag. Even my right. Xbox was like, I'm going to go dark for a second. Apparently, Don't mind me. When they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of Quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are. But I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit 
great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest. A lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm-hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more I feel more like I'm listening to an actual episode territory. of just a long-ass okay, podcast, go. and it's not getting to the point. Haunted woods. If you say so. This is like the stuff... Pop them in your mouth. mouth! Is that your sponsor for that episode? That was it? Oh my god, you put that whole podcast section in there just to make no point? The podcast of the paranormal. Oh, it's still going. Never mind. Welcome back to Bizarre Death Unified. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light rating. Okay, you're gonna make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma. Okay, finally. Allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy. How long we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I wanna know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen cause of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, that's oh, Siobhan girl. Williams did a song yeah. in this game. There was something going on. That's um, something eating away the lady her. who played Laura. And that's what I want to explore. It's cool. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended for now. Next, we have this empty vial thing. Okay, the way you say empty vial makes me think that there was something creepy in there before. Well, it's not half full, you little optimist, okay? <laughs> We've got a photo from whoever my supernatural fairy godmother may be, but what are your initial thoughts? Your godmother sends you vials full of this, I mean, it looks like there could have been blood in here. My fairy godmother, not my actual godmother. She's estranged. My god, what did she do? It's actually what I did. But the important thing is, look at this vial and tell me it does not scream nefarious ritual. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it could have had blood in it. Yeah, something about this doesn't look like anything normal. Yeah, well, it's a vial full of fucking blood. Okay, Anton, what you see next pretty much confirms it. They are a crackpot conspiracy theorist a loser? Shit went down at Hackett's Quarry this summer. Real, super natch shit. See, you always say things like this, and you're always overselling it. You always have to oversell something to even sell it. That's capitalism, baby. All right. <laughs> okay, this is actual footage from one of the trail cams in Hackett Woods. There you oh, go. Oh, cool, a camera in the middle of the woods? Did they find a squirrel? Be honest, if it was mounted on a mountain bike, you would watch that whole video. Yes, of course. Is there a mountain bike involved? No, but take a look anyways. Okay. That is a bear that is a bear to you there is no way that is yeah a bear. everyone okay, keeps talking well, about bears in this bloody game bear? okay 
This could be some of the clearest footage of something like this I've ever seen. Right, it's kind of blurry though. Blurry and convincing. Sometimes the truth can't be contained within the lines. Right, yeah. And also, footage is pretty easy to fake. Technology is super scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but what the hell were the Hackett's doing with footage like this anyways? Huh, yeah, that's a good point. Weird little video of a skinny bear. Yeah, I don't know. Again, you keep saying a skinny bear. Have you seen a skinny bear? Yes, that's Bears very sad. Oh. Yeah, polar bears, it's hard for them to find food sometimes. Don't feel too bad for them though, they're nasty. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay, do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Actually, you might be a little freaked out at this. Ugh, is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it, really. It looks human. Hmm. Wait, is it? Apparently, it belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Do we have the actual thing? Can I see it in the flesh, so to speak? No, just the photo. Whoever got in touch was smart enough to not risk actually stealing evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. Just saying. So this next thing to me isn't overtly supernatural, but it'd be unfair not to discuss it. Okay, so far I wouldn't describe any of it as overtly supernatural, but sure, let's do this. <clears throat> Claw marks. Wow, you're right. That is underwhelming. But I'm kind of interested because whoever did reach out thought it was worth sharing. Grace, it's highly likely this is all just an elaborate prank. True. But if I treated everything like that, then I wouldn't have a job. Eh, fair point, I guess. Okay. You know what? It's weird. I'll give you that. Oh my god. I just said it was weird. Don't make a big deal out of it. Oh my god, I've done it. You haven't done anything. I said it was weird. I've done it. I've turned you. You're, I've converted you to my side. You're a believer now, right? I will never be on your side. I won. <laughs> I won. You did not win. This I mean, is look, a contest and I have prevailed. You have not. Look, I just mean I can see it. The lack of details in the news report and this stuff. Uh, I don't know. Whatever it means, there's merit to the idea that something strange went down. Strange. Interesting word choice. So, what are you saying? Shut up. Come on. No. Give me what I I'm want. I'm not giving here. you anything. You've practically given it. Just give me the succinct sound bite I so desperately long for. Okay, I never agreed to this title, but I would agree that for the first time ever, this case could well be bizarre yet bona fide. Ah! This is the best day of my life. And that's sad. Why? Is it not yours? No! So what now? Well, we gotta send this stuff to the police. They can decide whether it's useful or not. I just wish we could know more. I wish we could just look into a crystal ball and see how it all played out. Yeah, but what fun would that be? Sure, we could speculate, but we weren't there. We didn't go through what these kids went through. I There's get no it. There's no way we'll ever really know what truly went down at Hackett's Quarry. Um... Who the fuck even are you? I'm being genuine. That was beautiful. Thank you. You just launched into precisely the kind of content I've been trying to make. It's just the first time we've had a coherent thought on this podcast. Is that it? Is it done? Is it done? Is it over? Do I not have to listen to them again? That was... That, that was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot of sitting here and listening to people not say anything, really. <laughs> anyway, that is the quarry. I am... That took all the wind out of my sails now, because I was so excited that I kept everyone alive, and then I listened to this for... What, ten minutes? And now I'm like... What did I do again? But... We did keep everyone alive! And that shocks me. Because, I mean, I did get the do-over, so obviously that's... It's not exactly cheating, because it's a mechanic built into the game. But... 
I definitely got some people killed. I got two people killed that if it didn't have that rewind mechanic would just have been dead at the very end. But I am glad that I got to keep everyone alive at the very, very end of it all. Well, I mean, obviously not everybody. When I said I wanted to keep everyone alive, I meant the counselors. Um, and Travis, I liked him a lot as well. The actual family, I didn't really care about at all. I was fully committed to just gunning all of them down because they were all werewolves or whatever. And I was like, yeah, whatever. Just get me to the point and all my main characters are still alive. And that's what I did. And I'm happy with that. And that's where I'm going to leave it. There probably is a scenario where you can get everything absolutely perfect and make sure that absolutely everyone is alive at the very end of the game. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to... I'm like, oh, if I go back and somebody like got shot or like the Emma thing or the, the Jacob thing, I'm like, I'll go back and do those ones, sure. But I'm not going to go back and play the entire game again just to make sure that like the Hackett family survives if they even can. I have no idea. There'll be plenty of people doing that on their channels anyway that you can watch them do it. But I'm glad that I kept my main gang alive because that was my goal and my mission and I did it and I'm shocked that I did. Um, some of those decisions felt like whatever, and I don't know why. If I got Max off that island, would he have died? I don't know. I don't know what would have happened to any of them. Jacob just ended up in the forest alone, crying. <laughs> like, some of them just were all over the place. I still don't think it's as good as Until Dawn. Um, Until Dawn is just that special magic sauce where... This game felt a little too bloated. There was a little too much, there's too much width to it. Until Dawn works because it's a far more laser focused experience where you get less choice, I think, and there's less, there's less amounts of scenarios where things can go right or wrong. It's more a case of like, all these de decisions you're making don't really matter until the big ones where people are gonna die. And then if they're dead, they're just not in your game anymore. Um. And it's, it's kind of just that. This one is more a case of, like, you can play it multiplayer. You can play with multiple people controlling multiple characters. You have to account with... You have to account for far more characters being in far more places all at different times. So it ends up feeling like things aren't paced as well as something like Until Dawn was. It's definitely better than their Dark Anthologies uh, or their Dark Pictures Anthology games because I'm not a huge fan of those. Uh, Man of Medan and Little Hope, I was, I was like, nah, um, they didn't do it for me. House of Ashes was better, but it was still lacking some of that, like, magic for me. Um, I guess because I, I, I know that they're like a one and done kind of thing, and then they just move on, like, the next game has nothing got to do with it or whatever. Um, but these longer experiences, I like a lot more, because you get into the characters, you get to know them a lot more. They feel far less dispensable to you. And I, I feel like I know, like, their emotions and their character and what drives them and where they want to go. Except Caitlyn. I knew nothing about her by the end of the game. Which is really bizarre, because everybody else I felt like I got to know a little bit better throughout whatever they were doing. And Caitlyn, I got nothing. Which is really bizarre, because she was a cool character and her mocap seemed like it was twice as good as everyone else's at some points. I, I, I don't know what was going on with it. Um, but overall, it was a very, very good game. I think there's still a lot of jank to it. There's a lot of, like, bullshit in some of the decisions um, that get you killed. Like, the Emma one is whatever, because it was like, they were setting up being like, I'm gonna die if I go in here! And then I was like, yeah, you probably are, and then I opened it and she died. Fair enough. Um, but that Jacob one felt like horseshit to me. <laughs> and then rewinding it and it sent you all the way back to, like, towards the end of chapter 8. Because I cut out a ton of stuff in between that, where I went back and then I actually saved him by doing the breakers. And then it was like 25 minutes of gameplay, again, that I had to do just to get back to where I was. Um, so it just felt a little wonky. Let's see if there's anything else. No. Connection to Onslaught Services has been lost. Oh, no. Uh, now you can do chapter select, though. So... Oh, I just have a complete game. Game complete, 22 hours, 46 minutes, 47 seconds. I, what? Oh, because I would like turn off my Xbox and then just leave, but it counted as having the game still open. It did not take me 22 hours. <laughs> it took me like eight or nine. 
Um, but yeah, now you can go back and play all of them. I can't remember what it was like in Until Dawn, because I was thinking if I got some characters killed, could I go back and just do the chapter, save them, and then move on to the next one? And I can't remember if Until Dawn let you do that or not. Um, but I'm glad I don't have to, because that probably would have taken a really long time. Um, but yeah, that was the quarry. Very curious what you guys think about it down in the comments. Please let me know. Um, I think everyone's kind of of the mind that it's not as good as Until Dawn, but it is better than the dark pictures. Well, your mileage will vary depending on what you're into. If you're not into, like, summer camp and werewolves, then obviously this isn't going to connect with you. Uh, but I thought, I thought it was very good. Um... I still don't know why they didn't just call it Until Dawn 2, because you really could have. Because it was a, another supernatural story with new characters where you're surviving Until Dawn. If anything, this one goes with the Until Dawn thing so much more than the actual Until Dawn game, because this one is about getting rid of the full moon so the werewolves go away. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure they had the reasons. Maybe they just want to keep everything separate. But Until Dawn 2, I think, would have been totally fine for something like this. Um, and it probably would have sold more if you did that. But they probably have an answer to that, and then I'd be like, oh, that makes sense. Um, but yeah, let me know who your favorite characters were. Because I, I turned around on Emma towards the end, even though she was a total asshole earlier on in the game. And I didn't like that at all. But... At least she had, like, character to her. A character like Ryan, I got so tired of by the end, because all he did was kind of sit around being like, Oh, we, we really gonna do this? We, we gonna go over here and do that? I, I don't know, I, I don't think we should do that. I'm like, have some character at least. Um, and Dylan as well, I think Dylan ended up being my overall favorite, because... I don't know, he started out goofy, and I was like, oh, you're gonna get really tedious really quick. And then he didn't, because he was just so fun with everybody else. And especially when he was with Ryan, and Ryan was so stoic all the time, having Dylan kind of, like, cut through that was really fun. Um, and Kate, I liked Caitlyn a lot, but I really wish we had more to her. She wasn't really, like, a, a fully formed character by the end of it. Abigail fell apart once the stuff with Nick stopped. Which is a little unfortunate that her whole character was based around whether she liked that guy or not. And then when he werewolfed, she didn't really do anything anymore. She kind of just kind of like got tossed aside. Um, literally at one point, but her character didn't really like develop from there. Um, and Jacob, yeah, fell into a hole once the Emma stuff stopped. It was kind of like some characters got to a point and then they just stopped because it's like, uh, they probably should be dead by now so we don't know what to do with the character. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of what else I can just kind of like synopsize the game with and kind of review it with because I'm not going to be back to it. So I want to give like my thoughts on it. Um, overall, I just had a really fun time recording it for YouTube. I think, I love these types of series where you can kind of like get in and just have fun with it and you get tense and you get scared knowing who's going to die and what's going to happen. Um, but there were definitely points where it felt like it kind of dragged. I do feel like they showed the monster way too early. It was like episode two we were in and we knew it was werewolves and we saw what they were. And then for the rest of the game, there wasn't really any sort of like surprises or twists or turns. Because what I love about Until Dawn, I mean, I'm kind of spoiling it, but if you haven't watched it by now, I feel like you probably were. Um, but if you haven't, go watch it because I'm going to spoil what the ending is. Um... But for Until Dawn, I really liked that it was a slasher the whole time. And then the whole point, you were trying to figure out who it was. Um, and you were figuring that stuff out in your brain. And then that hunter dude kind of showed up who was an extra character. And you were like, is it you? It's like, no, that's too obvious. And you're like, it has to be one of my people. And then you were like, you were kind of trying to figure that out at the same time. But then certain things were happening where you were like, well, that couldn't have been that. What the hell was that thing? And then all of a sudden you found out who it was. And it was Josh. And then it was like, holy shit, Megaton! And then all of a sudden it was like, well now we have this massive supernatural element in it with the Wendigos, and they would show up and just messed everything up. And that was just so many layers to it. And then when you were talking to the curator dude, or... I don't know, he was like the psychiatrist in it, but you didn't know he was a psychiatrist, or a therapist, or a doctor, until the end of it, and then you realized, oh, you were talking to Josh all this time! And you were asking him all these questions, and that was like a big reveal too, and he had so much purpose to be in the game. And this one, I don't know, I feel like the sort of 
the fire and her being a ghost and her talking to you in between. All that stuff felt very flat to me. I didn't connect with it at all. I, did, I don't really know. It felt like it was shoehorned into the game. Um, I feel like the werewolf element is totally fine on its own. But I kind of feel like the the family, the Hackett family, like Bobby and Jedediah, I feel like they should have been a far more uh, mysterious element. And then do the switcheroo of werewolves or something like that. I don't know. I guess it's kind of hard to do some parts of the story like Laura and Max in the prison without re revealing that it's werewolves. But I feel like that could have been your moment to reveal it. I feel like there was just like little stepping stones we could have built upon to get the mystery to figure out what it is. But I called it being werewolves like episode one, right? And then... It's just we didn't get any surprises since then and that's that's a little unfortunate. But maybe they just, they just didn't want to do that. Maybe they just wanted to tell a monster story. And that's fine too. It doesn't always have to be surprising. Um, but when you are coming off something like Until Dawn and people are going to compare it and whatever. Anyway, I'm not going to stop talking about it because it makes it sound like I didn't enjoy it when I really did. I, th I thought it was great. I think it's one of their better efforts and I had fun with it. Um, maybe I'll go back and play Until Dawn on the channel as well. I keep thinking about going back and playing older series, especially ones like that where so many more of the games have come out and I'm like, does Until Dawn still hold up? And I'm having that as that like benchmark for all their games afterwards and I'm like, is it as good as I remember it? And I've wanted to replay certain series, and that was done in a rush to prepare for PAX back then, so... I'll play Until Dawn again. Let me know if you guys want that. Um, and we'll go through it, and I think that that would be fun to play in, like, 2022, and see how it stacks up against something like this now. Uh, but that's gonna do it for me, that's gonna do it for The Quarry. Let me know what you guys thought. Um, go watch some other series that I've done. Some scary games, or just general series. I have a ton of them on the channel and tons of games that I've played to completion on the channel that I'm sure if you like this, you would absolutely love. So go go find something to watch. I'm sure people in the comments or people on Twitter or wherever will have recommendations for you as well. But until then, I'll see you. Thanks for watching.